Warning. Viewer discretion is advised. This channel and its content are not intended for anyone under 13 years of age. If you are under 13, please turn off this video. The following may contain material not suited for viewers under 13, such as coarse and suggestive language, tobacco, drug, and or alcohol references, simulated slash fantasy violence, and adult situations. Additionally, this channel and its contents are not intended to be a replacement for proper parenting. Don't allow viewing habits to interfere with personal responsibilities and relationships. Constructive criticism is encouraged, making for better content. Jokes are jokes, albeit immature ones. Please watch responsibly. Thank you. It's personal. It's stupendous. It's conspicuously incredible. Hurry, hurry, step right up. Hey, Sonny, you want to give it a try? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another edition of Conspicuously Incredible Gaming. I am your host, Mike. So, on the, uh, the end of the Battletoad stream... I keep saying stream, it's... The end of the last Battletoads playthrough. I mentioned I was going to do an OG PlayStation game. And... Well, honestly, it took me a while to figure out what the hell I was going to play. And so, as I'm... Picking through a few games and trying to figure out what the hell I'm going to play. I started noticing that the emulators on my computer were all kind of... All kinds of wonky and all kinds of screwed up, so... It took me like all day yesterday to try to figure out what the hell was going on. And even some of today. And I got to thinking in between that, it's like, well, hell, you know... It's almost coming up on time of 20 years since this game came out. I scrimped and saved pennies, dollars, and begged my uncle with what money I actually was able to scrape up, like $36 and something. If I hand you this, will you buy this game for me? Because <laughs> I was, you know, I think 17 at the time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, I was 16 at the time, I believe. Uh... Oh, I was... Shit, what the fuck, hell? Bye. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Seventeen. Yeah, I think it was seventeen. Because this came out at, in spring of... Oh, one. <sighs> that was stupid. Alright, so, I know I played the first one, damn near three years ago, no, almost four years ago now, probably closer to three in a couple of months, because I played it like, not too long after I started, but not too long before I uh, started trucking. And I'm sorry, bear with me, because the next couple of minutes is actually going to be nothing but sitting here and watch it, because I'm going to have to do the intro. And I've done let this thing go on like hell, so... Anyway, let me go ahead and get right to it. Mega Man Legends 2. So, be honest with you, yes, I, I love the hell out of this game. I played it quite a bit. I haven't played it quite as hard or quite as much as the first Mega Man Legends... But I have played the hell out of it. So. Right now I got some. Got some shit here tangling up all of a sudden that I just now noticed. So what the. That's the controller. I don't really want to do a whole bunch of unplugging and shit because even. Even though I've got the uh, PlayStation emulator working, and it was at first it was mainly sound issues. 
Because once you'll find out here as soon as I start this thing, and, and it was other games that did other things too. As soon as I start this game, and you get past the Capcom, whatever title, you're going to see a airship across the screen. Or I guess in this case, because of the direction that it's actually going to be coming from, it's going to be coming from this direction here, this way. You'll see it. The whine of the engine and the kind of background and everything was not coming up. And there was other layers of sound that was not coming up. Um, basically, at the beginning, and you'll see when I'm putting out a fire on the flutter, Roll's voice in the background, especially the whole mission start and the mission objective, and she's communicating like through his headset, is not there, and and I don't know why. I don't know what the hell is going on with that. Until I screwed around with it and disabled a few or enabled a few settings, still not exactly sure what or why. I'm just kind of plugging away at shit like a monkey, plugging away at shit like a monkey, and whatever works works. And so far, I got this to work. All right. So the application is open, but I have not started the ROM yet. And I shall also be quiet because I'll know it. It's on first. That would have been shitty. Have you guys sit through five minutes of silence? To that ship noise in the background, you would not have heard that. That's mainly what I was trying to get fixed. And it took me a day and a half to figure it out. Unlike on the Raspberry Pi that it worked first damn time, but I can't figure out without a capture card how to get how the hell to get the video over to the PC. Brian, there's a way. It's built in. <laughs> it ain't working. Either I'm fucking up or it's fucking up. I'm trying not to spoil a whole lot before. It actually gets to the part, Hello? but can't help it. I was thinking we should get started soon. Like Phoenix Wright's daddy and shit. I can believe it's been ten years since your daughter and son-in-law were lost here. Yeah, here's son-in-law without hearing thinking? hearing son-in-law and their daughter behind and going to such a dangerous place. And yes, I'm gonna be a bit pedantic. Are you sure you won't change your mind? Are you still determined to go back there? It's too late to turn back now. I've spent my entire life working toward this. I can't turn back. Mr. Werner von Blucher? Mr. Werner von Blucher? That time already? Well, then I'll go on ahead, alright? Mr. Werner von Blucher? Mr. Werner von Blucher? Please report to the I guess Roll decided not to come then. It's fucking thing oh, right. Yes. She's a little upset at the thought of someone finding the mother load before she does. After all, I'm she's grow been up, looking though. for it all her life. I've always been fond of rule, you all know. All 15, that. 16 but years of it. In love and war. She was looking for it all her life. Started like what, three years ago? Four years ago? That old fucker's had more time on the shitter than she's had fucking looking for this shit. But yeah, I'm gonna be a little bit, uh... Nothing to report, sir. Not pedantic, Keep not facetious. If any pirates show up, I want them taken care Sardonic, of Sardonic, that's it. Yes, sir. No one has journeyed to Forbidden Island and returned to tell the tale, but today two men have played it, their and... lives to studying that infamous island. Did you have to call so many reporters? I can't have all the fun myself, can I? Show off. The more the merrier, <laughs> wouldn't you agree? You never change, do you? Just try not to make a fool of yourself or me. I'm never going to keep myself in frame in this shit. I never do. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen of the press, 
Thank you for your patience. I would like to present to you a brief description of our planned expedition. Look who it is. Now tell me, just what do you think you're doing here? I thought you had gotten out of the pirate game, hmm? Stop it, Clyde. Mind your own business. We've got enough problems as it is. What, did your little department store go under already? Ah! No, it hasn't gone under. We're just a little in the red this month, that's all. Just need a little extra Teasel's voice actor is by me. far the most professional. If you didn't buy only what you like, maybe we wouldn't be in this fix. Shut your traps. I'm trying to listen to what he's saying. What did you say, you big tin can? Who do you think you are? I... Dude was actually a voice actor. Remember, Teasel? Teasel. This, and Lady Announcer here for the news or whatever is just sure horrible. No one has succeeded in Horrible. on the island beyond this tumultuous cloud and lived to tell the tale. No one, that is, except Professor Beryl and myself. Give you a cookie. 30 years ago, <laughs> Professor Beryl and I... That was actually that some pretty bad shit, so... <laughs> Over the years, we've been asked many times what we saw there. We have kept that knowledge... Don't ask, don't tell. But now I intend... To give to you <laughs> the opportunity to see it was in his butt. <laughs> it was in his butt. It was in one of them, then the other. They played Switch. <laughs> they played Switch before it was invented. <laughs> Wait, where the hell are they? Like, what island? I mean, it wasn't the catalogs, that's for damn sure. It's always nice to see some of the characters, like, out of their main costumes. Something. It's completely... Mm. Like, in this universe, he's actually a human. Or humanoid. Living. All that shit on him is actually a suit. As in the Whoa. original Mega Man Breakfast series, Daddy. he's a robot. Just the way you like him. So, you know. Hey, look, it's Gramps! He can interface with Roll in more ways than one. Don't worry, Roll. The mother load can't be found that easily. Did I say that out loud just now? Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah, I did. I don't know, though. It's one of those things with me. I don't know what it is with blondes with green eyes. Professor Beryl and myself. Probably Inspector Gadget. The mother load, which has been sought after by all mankind for numerous generations, does lie buried somewhere on this island. We're gonna dig that shit up and we're gonna put it on display. <clears throat> and y'all some bitch is gonna pay a three fifty to see it. Thank you. Thank you. And now, now are there, there any, any questions? questions? Excuse me, Mr. Blucher? Yes. So I remember this part. I always remember this part because like as soon as that went ching <laughs> like that, just before you could hear the PlayStation the disc loading like loading something question. else. So Personally, it was always I believe it to be something of tremendous importance like, to mankind. <laughs> Something that will help us better ourselves and the world. Perhaps I don't have the original disc with me. More powerful than our current refractors. And you, Professor? Tell me, what do you think? Hmm. I was out of it all this time and didn't notice until... Now? Matilda! You're alive! You're about dead, old man. Has it occurred to you that this great lost treasure might not be what you think it is? Keep your eyes on her. What happens to you is no concern of mine. Still, I'll give you this warning. What you call the mother load is not what you think it might be. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> No fucking way. I know what and fucking why and what that fucking happened to. Motherfucker. You know what, fuck it, we're keeping it in. Y'all are gonna sit through it. Paid your fucking ticket. Y'all are gonna sit through it. Because I said some good shit there for a while, and I'm not saying it again.
I'm not, I'm not recreating that. No, fuck no. All right, so, games. <laughs> That's some bullshit right there. That up there so I don't get fucked up. I right, so. Well, Y'all just gonna have to watch it again. Because there's no way I can fast forward this. This whole emulator is kind of locked down. This is the only one I can get to work right. And this whole emulator is locked down. I can't even escape like in some of the other ones and then go back and save the state. Like I can't even do save states on this emulator. I don't need them for this game, but I can't do shit. Once I, I mean, I have to like Alt F4 or like Damn near going to the task manager to get this damn thing to shut the fuck off. I try to get comfortable somehow. It's always like it's either I don't feel like I'm Hello? quite centered or uh I was thinking we should get started soon. So uh yeah it, I ain't resetting it. Shit on that. Hard to that says some funny shit. Ten years since your daughter and son-in-law were lost here. Daughter and son-in-law. What were they? Thinking? I can't think of here. I can't. <laughs> son-in-law without hearing son-in-law from Family Guy. Old Carter Peter Schmidt calling Peter his son-in-law. Are you sure you won't change your mind? Are you still determined to go back there? It's too late to turn back now. I've spent my entire life working toward this. I can't turn back. Already cut our dicks off and eat them. What are we gonna do now? We gotta go through with it. Well then, I'll go on ahead. All right. Mr. Berner von Blucher, Mr. Berner. Oh hell! I guess Roll decided not to come then. Hmm. Oh yes. She's a little. Try to get comfortable. Yeah. Someone finding the mother load before she does. After all, she's been looking for it all her life. Uh. Always been fond of Roll. You know that. But all's fair in love and war. I'm over here trying to get comfortable and shit. Oh, it just fell. Oh, the Raspberry Pi. Which I can't stream from Nothing at the frickin' moment till I figure out how to Keep your eyes wide open. All the protocols if and all that. Show up, I want them taken care of immediately. Or I get a yes. capture card. No one has journeyed to Forbidden Island and returned to tell the tale, but today two men who have devoted their lives to studying that infamous island. Did you have to call so many reporters? Can't have all the fun myself, can I? He's a show off. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't you agree? You never change, do you? Just try not to make Thinking about it, I could edit this shit and people. post. Let's kind of explain later how it happened, but <clears throat> son, it, it wasn't that it wasn't that long Thank compared to what's attention. coming up next, what's like still left. A brief description of our planned expedition. expedition. So if you listen close, he said planned expedition. I thought his plan was called expedition. Now, just what do you think what is this plan here? called expedition? I thought you had gotten out of the pirate game. Hmm? Stuff it, Glide. Mind your own business. We've got enough. Oh, and Glide. <laughs> What, did your little department store go under there already? Go. Glide here no, it hasn't gone under. We're is just the one that's effeminate and everybody that's thinks all. is, uh... A little extra cash to make ends meet. Little fruity. If you didn't buy He's the one with the bird like, bots. Maybe you wouldn't be in this fix. Shut your traps. I'm trying to listen to what he's saying. What did you say, you big tin can? Who do you think Claymore. you are? I think it's no Claymore. Until the job's finished. Remember, Teasel? He was one of the other... Like the older, the As older generation of pirates, him and no uh, Bolin Claymore. On the island, beyond this tumultuous cloud, and lived to tell the tale. No one, that is, except Professor Beryl and myself. Got out of there with our buttholes intact. Professor and I journeyed to that island, and returned. I'm always floating out of frame. what we saw there. We have kept that knowledge to ourselves, but now I intend to give to you the opportunity to see it for yourselves. It's a tornado cloud. Oh, shit. 
We ain't seen a wren from one of them before. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck Nero up here real quick. He, he might be watching this later on. I wasn't fucking lying, and this ain't the only, and this is the mildest one. Nice Hatsune Miku pillow set. Rule, breakfast ready. I made the eggs. Duvet cover and everything. Hey, look, it's Gramps. This is the set for the truck. You ain't seen the one for the house. I also got another Huggy pillow too. Don't worry, Rule. The mother load can't be found that easily. What? <laughs> My nephews, as soon as I got them out the car, and I strapped the new one I got into the front seat. I buckled her in and everything, and I even referred to her as her. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I do not give a shit. So, Professor I ask him, hey, you know, help your Uncle Mikey that the mother bring this stuff in the, in the house. After by all mankind for numerous generations. Well, have to get everything in the house, on this the youngest one buries himself in all of my, both, both my... Dakimakura, and my, you know, all four or five of my head pillows. This ends my presentation. And my blanket. He just now, buries himself in it. Questions? I mean, he was running around the house with the older Mr. one Blooper? over yeah. his shoulder. <laughs> Flinging around, running around Has like your crazy. Research given you any clue as to what exactly the mother load might be? My like, boy, you That's done stole question. my damn girlfriend. Personally, I believe it to be something of <laughs> tremendous importance to mankind. Something I'm gonna leave that there, you guys. Uh, the world. Just show if you guys yeah, actually uh, watch this shit. <laughs> Ask me about that later on Discord. And you Check the links down below. Tell me, what do you think? Well, I think. Gotta go shit. Matilda. All right. You, you're alive. Boyan. Bon. Just shit on it. I didn't even notice. Is this was this Bond? This great lost treasure might not Super something shop. I didn't even notice yeah, that. Not only they run in their little, you know, department no store or whatever, of shit they've hey, stolen <laughs> and funded by stealing. You call the mother they actually advertise it. That's fucking awesome. Need. I didn't even notice no, that. It's not a treasure at all. It's not a treasure it's at a all. It's a catastrophe waiting to happen. They're firing blindly in the fucking nothing. Big gaping hole in an airship. Let's stick our head out the window. that microphone got that range so they can still hear it in the fucking show child with all that air fucking whatever and um, yeah you still Mega like man did you see that that woman she was my mother huh but how why my mother wouldn't do anything like that would she let's find out you ain't what seen her in fucking four let's or five years. And we can find out for ourselves. Or more. But it's the only way to be sure, you know. Oh, I guess you're right. And they changed up the actor, Mega Man. They changed mm, up the voice actor. Go. I'll get changed, then get the engine started. Can you clean up the dishes for me? Thanks. But she didn't even eat. <laughs> Cooked your favorite shit, you didn't even eat. There we go, all right. So let's see. I was dicking with this earlier and never actually saved it though. So, cause there's always, let's see, left. Buster L1. 
Oh wow, this is like Call of Duty, you fucking... Oh, jump L2? What the... Oh, hell no. <laughs> B was always the better, and I still haven't got the vibration to work for some fucking reason, but... Oh, well. Alright. Oh, there is a continue here some fucking way, isn't there? No, I mean, it's the options there, but... I wasn't going to continue anyway. Alright. Yes, there will be some hiccups, because this is emulation. I have the disc at home. I own this game. A lot of other shit being fake today, and, you know, whatever. Fuck it. I mean, I didn't own, I didn't own a copy of Battletoads. I still played that. Way to go. Data, please. You think he's freaking Togepi? Boy, Mega Man, I'm disappointed. I thought you were braver than this. Boy, you so much. Come on, Mega Man. Data, it's still. You stay out of Mega Man's way. It's... Boy, oh boy. You. Shit, it still takes me out of it when they call him Mega Man, cause. There. All done. Yeah, Mega and Man, like Ultra order. Person. Speed, we should catch up to Gramps any time now. Boy, that new engine sure is something. Completely different from the old one. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was expensive, but it was worth it. Sounds like he's being I'll sarcastic. Uh, sounds, like he, sounds like he was unsure. Like, <laughs> you really sure that engine is... <laughs> you gonna fuck it up for all of us? Can you get everything ready? Okay, okay, okay. Trust it to the monkey. He don't have thumbs. Mega Man, thank you. Huh? Well, I was a little down before, and uh -huh. I was thinking, what would I do if they find the mother load? I guess I got a little scared. Scared? Why? I've been searching for the mother load because I thought if I found it, I'd be able to see my parents again. I guess. Waiting. I was just fooling myself. Just see, I'm ready to say something. I've got to accept reality. Face the facts. They are gone. Both of them are gone. Oh. But still, when you said we should go see for ourselves, I remembered something my mother told me a long time ago. She said a digger should never give up hope. Right. My mom and my dad and the mother load. I won't. I won't give up on them yet. That's the spirit. We'll find him, Rule. <laughs> anyway, Mega Man, what should we do once we catch up with Gramps' ship? You two gonna fuck already? <laughs> I was waiting for that. All right. First thing I gotta ask, of course, is where are my weapons? Didn't I have a shitload of stuff at the end of the last game? What did you do with my weapons? I'm really sorry, Mega Man. I needed to upgrade the flutter. I'm afraid I sold all your equipment. Please forgive me. I'm really sorry, Mega Man. <laughs> I needed to upgrade the flutter. I'm afraid I sold all your equipment. Please forgive me. Summer, where are my testicles? Where are my testicles, Summer? <laughs> I mean, what the hell? Oh, frickin' yeah. So it's... <laughs> no, I get it in a way, because you kind of got to justify the fact that, you know, you, you got through the last game and you had all this cool, amazing shit, and now you don't have anything in the new game, which you're not supposed to start out with all the shit in the new game. I mean... Unless it's something like dot hack sign or something where, you know, one disc and then the save file actually you can continue on to the other disc and the, I mean you know it's supposed to be a whole new adventure, so of course you're not supposed to have your old shit. 
But she's like, I actually sold all, I, I sold all your equipment. Please forgive me. It's like, I could have used that. <laughs> like, like, couldn't you have asked me? <laughs> I mean, for me to have to ask, where are my weapons? <laughs> where are my weapons? <laughs> Which this game's already kind of meta in a way, because it's referring back to the old game in some way or another. Of, I had weapons, now they're gone. Where are they? You know, where are my testicles, Summer? Eh, but, you know... She could have delivered that line a little bit better. The flutter can't get through the wind surrounding Forbidden Island. We'll need a special ship if we want to land there. She, she's My still. My father once she, designed a special kind of flying ship called a drop ship. I'm pretty sure we could use it to get there. I mean, she's pretty cute though, so I can forgive her for that though. Although that's not the way it works. <laughs> you're dumb as a box of fucking dog turds. You're dumb as a box of dog turds. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's not stupid. She's a little bit airheaded. Kind of, that's that's the whole endearing part of it. I mean, she does look a lot like my mother, but I can't believe my own mother would do something like that. I wonder well, who she is. You're not taking every aspect into consideration. What if she uh, got amnesia? What if, uh, I don't know, you know, somebody that looks like her? What if she was taken in by a doomsday cult that threatened to do the woman equivalent of castrating her? Hysterectomy, whatever the hell? And string her up by her toenails if she didn't do what they, I mean, how do you know? Like, you're just, oh, my mother would never do anything like that. You face with some shit, you'll do a lot of shit you won't believe you'll ever do. I mean, just saying, you know, them people that got in that plane wreck and frickin' whatever that was showing that movie alive had to eat human flesh to survive, they didn't they? Or that flight, they never thought they'd have to do that. <laughs> I mean... If I have to, I'll eat your ass. I'll eat your ass. <laughs> so. Okay, we can figure out what to do once we get there, right? Fucking around way too much. I'm sorry. Roll, do you smell something burning? That's my ass. I farted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Data! Data! I'll go see what's wrong. Monkey on fire! Monkey on fire! What? what? What is it? It's a fire extinguisher. I'll tell you more later. Okay, back me up. <laughs> it's a fire extinguisher, I'll tell you later. <laughs> what the fuck? You know how you use your fire extinguisher, right? Uh Yes, I know how to use it. Mission start. Alright, so you got your lock on, which is your right trigger or your R2. Thirty-three minutes and thirty-three and a half minutes. I'm finally into some action. All right, so I can't go down there yet. And I can't go down there yet, and I'm just fucking around. I mean, the objective is to get to the kitchen to put the monkey out because the monkey's on fire. The monkey, the monkey, the monkey's on fire. We don't need no water. Let the fucking monkey burn. Burn, fucking monkey. Burn. And the couch is on fire. And the hutch is on fire. Or the, the whatever the hell. China cabinet, whatever. And the bathroom's on fire. I didn't turn around and lock onto the fucking bathroom. Come on, damn it. There we go. Damn it. There we go. Come on. You put it out? Yeah, you put it out. Ah! 
How the fire spread out here this quickly? I guess. Now, of course, he's gonna get too close to it, and he's gonna get caught, caught on fire. Yep. And now he's gonna run around the room like a dumbass. Oh, and if he runs into you. I mean, it's like getting tripped up. Okay, on fire. Why don't you just get back out of the damn room? What did I do? You know what you did. You know what you did. You don't cook pizza, you bake it, you dumb shit. Yeah, you were a well done monkey. Crunchy monkey. Hey man, we're here. We caught up with Grant Chip. Monkey! <laughs> this is your live update. Although the Sulphur Bottoms Hall was damaged in the attack by a mysterious woman, the damage has been repaired. We expect it to enter the maelstrom surrounding Forbidden Island any time. Preparations are complete. The crew ready. The Sulphur Bottom is gathering speed and preparing to penetrate the cloud of mystery surrounding Forbidden Island. Yeah, preparations A through G were unsuccessful. Preparation H, though, Instead, was a success. Luger embark on his greatest adventure, and what may be humanity's greatest adventure? Will he succeed in reaching Forbidden Island? We'll continue with live updates throughout the day. Final check complete. Hey, uh, too we chipper. Way too ready, chipper. Sir. Just want to knock that down a notch or well, two with everyone. a fucking baseball bat. We won't let anything get in the way of a story. We're not like those wimpy TV reporters. You're really going to go through with it? Turn this up a little yes, bit or no? I am. I have to. I don't want to go so much and drown and me out. If but... you're going to do it, then do it. I mean, we've come this far, right? Thank you, Barrow. You spent millions of dollars on All that right, damn then, ship. Let's go. And... Main engines online. Main engines online. They have millions of Zanny. The center of the island. Millions of Zanny. Engage. Make it so. Oh wait, this ain't Star Trek. Looks like they're intent on ignoring my warning. Uh -huh. Weapons activated. Remember, I don't want them hurt. Shoot the shit out of them. <laughs> Shoot the shit out of them. <laughs> the stabilizers on this ship are amazing. It's See, I was a roll guy for the longest, longest time. Impressed. I like. I'm kind of coming around to really liking Tron. High speed, sir. Activate defense grid. No one will stop me. Not now. Well, she's got also Ooh, got either green. It's either green or hazel. Kind of hazel. Oh, excuse me. Ready. I've always had a thing for brunettes too, but just a little more. I don't think more for brunettes than I even do fucking blondes. But for some reason, blondes with green eyes. It's just weird. Like I'm, I'm all over the place on that shit. And oof. And I oof. <laughs> Fire repressors activated. Engines offline. She's out of control. Emergency escape pod launch mechanism damaged. What? No. We well, should have built it with 2001 hulls instead now of 2000. Really Apologies, Mr. Suna. Thanks for fucking it up for everybody else. Treat. Of course, there's the Drake. Probably won't crash for a while yeah. at least. I'd uh, hope to Tron and Bonds. This far. The serve bots, the Cobans. They're kind of mobile, whatever. Roll! The sulfur bot is being sucked into that storm! <gasps> Gramps! What should we do? We can't take the flutter in there. And we're almost out of fuel. We'll have to set down on a nearby island. We can figure out what to do then. I certainly the hell hope so. Oh, shit. So this is where the first major action really kind of starts kicking in. I mean, you had the whole... The beginning part was kind of a tutorial, but... To land on that island again. And it's also convenient. I 
Gramps always told me never to build a dropship, but still, this is an emergency. I know he'll understand, right? Like it's <laughs> never ever build a dropship. Why? Shouldn't the whole lecture of that be never ever go to a place where you'd ever need to use a dropship? Like. You know, maybe he don't want you actually, like, landing in a place where you have to use a drop ship. But maybe it wouldn't be so bad if you actually made the drop ship and you knew that it was, you know... Uh, of course, I'd hope you'd have the engineering prowess to make it sustain any damage it may take or, you know... Rug, you know... Traverse the rugged terrain that you would expect it to be put through. I mean, as long as your ass ain't in it, but oh, never ever make a drop ship. It's like, you know. Okay. It's like a guy with no legs building a pair of stilts. You can build a pair of stilts, you just ain't going to be able to use it, but you can still be, you have the ability to make a pair of stilts. You know what the fuck you're doing. It don't take legs to make it. It takes legs to kind of test it, but <laughs> well, who the hell knows? Might be a nice, you know, one piece with hinges in the middle where you can sit your ass in the middle and, you know, kind of wiggle your butt cheeks a little bit and actually, you know, walk on. the fuck no? It, I'm going off into the weeds on this one. I need to be fucking playing the goddamn game. First though, we need to go to a junk shop and get some parts to build it. Like, you're really just gonna build a drop ship, a specially created, one-of-a-kind, individual... prototype of a thing, you're gonna build it out of junk material, out of, you know, car fenders and washing machine chassis. Right. I mean, you might get a motor. Maybe lucky to get a stabilizer. Maybe lucky to, you know, some shit, but... So let's go and... Which I really don't even need, but we'll do that anyway. I know all about this shit, so... Just save it to... Yeah. Alright. Now, we need to go outside, but we can't go yet. I mean, there's... And he just jumped off the dam. Oh yeah, so it's it's funneling us right to the drop, sh to the uh, junk shop first. Of course, you got a big sign with an arrow that says junk shop. I wonder where the junk shop is. Oh, it's right over here. It even says... Verity... Parts Shop. Verity, Verity... I feel like the other one was, what, Lightning? Whatever the hell, the, the old couple, the golden couple. Ain't no way you can do a dig. Nobody like that. Take care of Marie if you get hurt. Oh, Joe. I gotta do this. Pretty good mechanic, right? Good living fixing people's stuff. Maybe you just settle down and down for a while. Take it easy, you know? If something happens to me after Marie and her daughter, okay? See ya. I've 
invite him to somewhere be Long, long time ago. They're looking for something? They ain't looking for nothing! Alright. The machine in this diagram. Now, the next part's kind of going to give it away. But if you don't know and you don't want to know yet and you never played this game and you kind of want to be surprised till later, I'm going to put a spoiler alert right now. Spoiler alert. Pause the video. Pause the video. All right, I've given you enough time to pause the video. Spoiler alert. Joe is 95.5. 5-6% her dad. Because we know Amelia is... Or Matilda is her mom, but... Amnesia, this, that, whatever. Which, since I've already declared spoiler alert... Pretty much is her mother. Yeah, I mean, it's declared later on that we know that is her mother. Joe, it's a little bit more ambiguous, but Joe is her father. So... Spoiler alert over. I need to make some kind of something for... Then again, who the hell, you know. There's going to be a lot of RPGs and shit like that I'm going to play that I ain't going to fucking know. Well, I'll be, are you two friends of Joe's? Because you already see the dropship that, you know, the, the plans that they had... Had no bearing... They were made by her father. I mean, even Gramps told her never to make one. So, he asks, oh, I don't think so, why? Well, it's just that I've seen this before in his lab. So, obviously Joe's making something like this. I mean... You can call it coincidental that he's making something of the same, you know, ilk, the same caliber. Eh, but, you know, who knows? Shed near the flying ship dock. It's just that. It's working on something. Looks just like this there. And roll goes, See ya! Means Joe must know my father. I gotta talk to him. No, Joe is. I I gave it away, and then I, I gave it away in the spoiler alert, and then I cleared the spoiler alert. Hopefully, if you kind of kind of inferred by my signal. Yeah. Uh, more than knows your father. Shutting up. I still might give it away later. Of course, she's gone. Just fucking gone. Like in the Apple market in the first one. Just gone. Gramps. Oh, gone. All right, well, let's see what you got here, you old bastard. You want to talk about Joe? Call him, but he lost his memory. See, no one knows who he really is or where he came from. Even Maria, who takes care of him. Maria, she's probably at the bar, but... Did she go after your friend? Eh, she runs off all the time. She'll be fine. She's got a monkey with her, you know. Typical day evening. Actually, it's a Friday afternoon. Let's see in here. There's a lot of shit on the shelves. Can't get in here. Is this already here? Looks like a drop ship. I mean, you got something right in here that looks like almost exactly what we're looking for. It's not quite, but, you know, it, it, it damn sure looks like exactly what we're looking for. But whatever, eat a dick. There's some paintings, there's shit on the wall.
Yeah, she's gone. She waited for me to get done dicking around in there before she actually took off. Yeah. I hate for you to leave, but I love to watch you go. Bong ba bong ba bong ba bong ba bong. Yeah, I'm an asshole. I'm a pig. I don't care. I don't care. Sue me. Send the send the hate mail right to my ass. She ain't got no ass anyway. I mean, she already got tits, but she ain't got no ass anyway. It's either the PlayStation 1 graphics or she just ain't got no ass. <laughs> something else of her father's there. Yeah, like... And just ransack that poor man's... soon anyway so he goes to forbidden island and comes back he'll be my dad why is that the prerequisite go to this place that nobody's ever gone to or nobody's ever come back from except two people that won't tell you what the hell they saw when they got there so we don't even know if they actually went or not but when he comes back, he's going to be your daddy. Like, you know, you come back and you know, I'll marry you. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> marry me now so that when I die and everything at the fucking Forbidden Island, you become my widow and you get all the benefits. Are you fucking stupid? I mean, there's already a lot wrong with that in the first fucking place. But, you know, <laughs> I mean, you're really fucking stupid to wait till after I come back. Like... The fuck, I mean, <laughs> dumb bitches can't even dumb bitch properly. Well, there wouldn't be anybody named Casket living there. I've never heard of anyone named Casket. Casket? What does that mean, Mega Man? I was so sure he was here. Like, you jumping in. I mean, I've played this game before. I kind of know. And it's, it's, it's never explicitly spelled out that Joe is her dad with amnesia, but it's very, very heavily implied, and I just fucked up the whole spoiler thing, so I'm sorry. I mean, ugh, we're not talking about some star ocean shit or some fucking, you know, like, in this game, in this slice of reality, most of Earth has flooded over with water by now. I say Earth, but let's just say Terra. They, they call it Terra. You'll find out they call it Terra because there's Elysium, which is basically the moon or one of the orbiting bodies. So Terra has flooded over the last, you know, couple of hundred years. There's only islands kind of sticking up. You would think with the limited amount of land mass and the limited amount of people that are on Terra, somehow or another... 
word would get around eventually. I mean, she is only 15, 16 years old at this point, maybe 17. I mean, to say she's been looking for the mother load her whole life is kind of bullshit, because, I mean, when you're 70, you can say that. When you're fucking 15, you don't really even know where you're at or where you're at in relation to the world until you're like 7, 8, 9, 10 years old. You can't even understand that shit till about then. I mean, maybe a little earlier, but, you know, come on, give me a fucking break. I'm sure she was leading grandpa by his nose, you know, everywhere. Maybe, maybe, maybe dad's here. Maybe dad's behind this rock. I don't know. I mean, it seemed like her adventures only seemed to pick up when Mega Man showed up. Which is funny because it was almost, you'll find in Roll's diaries and everything, I'll sh you'll see later, she was only five, six, seven, eight, something like that. Not even, I mean, it doesn't make any sense when she, when, when, I'm, I'm spoiling it still ahead of time. Beryl found Mega Man in one of the ruins as a baby, kind of encapsulated in crystal. And when he went to touch it, it the crystal kind of dissolved and he picked up the baby and took it with him. And when he brought it home and so, I mean, you know, like, like technically rolls kind of older than he is. Because she had enough wherewithal when Beryl brought Mega Man home, should I say the baby home? to take care of whatever, to take care of it and whatever, that they decided to name it Mega Man because that was one of Roll's favorite video game characters. So there's your second kind of dose of meta bullshit right there is, oh, so she was playing Capcom's, you know, Rockman, you know, Mega Man. Oh, I'll just name him Mega Man. It's like naming a fucking, you know, Naming a chihuahua, naming a pet dog, naming a kitty cat, naming a, a pet gerbil. Well, like Dora the Explorer, so I'll just name this dog Dora. I think Mega Man, so I'll just call him Mega Man. It's totally fine, everybody, yeah. I mean, I'd have settled, I, I, I'd have settled with Daryl or Craig. We could have named him Craig. We could have had Craig Legends. Craig Safe State Legends. Let's find Joe and talk to him. He could probably answer your questions. I guess you're right. As close as I've gotten to my parents. Come on. Alright. So I can go up now. Can I? This is the door to this. The half finished dropship must have been a lot for one person. I already told you, my dad's gone to the ruins. So, the ruins as soon as possible. Alright, well, let's go. I mean, you just kind of stood there and waited there, so, you know. What the shit? All right, so now you're standing there. You gonna come with me? By the way, triangle is to grip and grab things. If I were to try to grip and grab her, I don't work in here. It'll work when I get out to the, the field. All right, well, let me save. Energy charge. Save. And I know I fucked around quite a bit, but, you know, I want to try to break these into about an hour and something manageable pieces. So let me go ahead and 
you know, break this off right now, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue to do the other, but it's going to be uploaded later in a couple of days or a day or two, so... For now, I think this will work, and then we'll go out to the ruins and go find Joe and, you know, grab his winky for him. But, all right, so that being said, let me uh, go ahead and get out of here, and I'll do the thing, and I'm going to be right on back in a couple of days with the rest of this, although in my time, I'm just going to keep can working on this for maybe another section or two. That way I got something in the can. But yeah, let me go ahead and do the thing, and we'll we'll do the thing and then do the thing. This has been Conspicuously Incredible Gaming with your host, Mike. If you like this content, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share with your friends, do all the things. It really helps. Also, check out the links below for all the other places I'm on. Uh, trying to get Patreon. Still need to get Patreon done up, but uh, Discord... You can join the Discord. I mean, there's a handful of us there, but we do what we do, and we do it well. <laughs> when we do it. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, and, and there's also links for some of the other places I'm streaming, and the credits for the other stuff, too. So, anyway, um, that being said, I appreciate you all for watching. Take care, and have a good four. Conspicuously Incredible Gaming is a Conspicuously Incredible production. Conspicuouslyincredible.com